Number two, two horizontal forces act on a two kilogram chopping block that can slide over a frictionless kitchen counter, which lies in an XY plane. One force is F1 equals to three newtons in the I direction plus four newtons in the J direction. Find the acceleration of the chopping block in unit vector notation when the other force is, and then we have three different forces over there. So let's remember from Newton's second law that the sum of forces is equal to the mass times acceleration. And we want to find the acceleration of the block. So we just have to isolate it. So the acceleration would be the sum of the forces over mass. And in this case, we only have two different forces, F1 and F2. So it would be F1 plus F2 over mass. And we have to do this for letter A, letter B, and letter C. This is all we have to do. So in letter A, let's sum the forces first. So F, F1 plus F2 is equal to 3 in the I direction plus 4 in the J direction minus 3 in the I direction minus 4 in the J direction. So you can see that this 3 in the, over here cross with this one and this 4 cross with this one and we this gives us zero so the acceleration in the first case is equal to zero because the sum of the forces is zero as well and letter b let's do the same process over here f1 plus f2 which is equal to three in the i direction plus four in the j direction minus three in the i direction plus four in the j direction this is the force that i'm writing over here uh, the 3 cross out with this 3 over here and then we have 8 newtons in the j direction this is the, the, the sum of the forces for letter B the acceleration in this case would be 8 which is the sum of the forces in the j direction over the mass which is 2 so this gives us 4 in the j direction meters per square second so this is the answer of letter b letter c let let us do the same process again so let's sum the forces f1 plus f2 don't forget to add the arrow over the when you have vector don't forget to add the arrows because then it you're if if you don't include the arrow you're saying that it's not a vector it's just a scalar uh, number so you have to include the, the, this arrow over here when you have vectors. Don't forget to include it. So F1 is 3 in the I direction plus 4 in the J direction plus 3 in the I direction minus 4 in the J direction. And this gives us 6 in the I direction and it is in Newtons. And so the acceleration for letter C would be 6 in the I direction over 2, which gives us 3 I meters per square second. And that's it.